you have uh, you had a, a VLS a big pun it was uh, You Ain't a Killer the, and that was he released the single before he ever released the album it's a Michael Jackson sample the version that you had is rare people there are people that would have freaked out over it you know what I'm saying and it's like you're just you know it's like it's a local store that's here like you know hey we have what you need and we're not trying to get over on you you know what I mean without saying other you know record stores names you know everything's reasonable everything is you know and then uh, the you know the funk collection and all this well you know uh, Isaac Hayes you know what I mean Isaac Hayes for only what seven dollars for the new birth uh, with oh, I Dreamweaver. I love that record. Dreamweaver. Uh, who originally did with Dreamweaver? Do you remember? Do you know who did that? It was Gary Wright. The and, old pop song, yeah. Yeah, and you know they redid it. And 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 you know I have friends that they don't care. It's like you know I might see this record somewhere else. It doesn't matter. What matters is that this is a hawk. Hawk brought this in. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what's important <laughs> to us. I, me and my friends, we look for hawks. You know what I'm saying? Literally, we pick through the store and look for hawks. Hawks. And I know who the hawk is. Yeah. Old exactly. Child. Yeah. And we to us, he's a superhero. We think of him and we think Barry White with a cape. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Eddie Kendrick's "People Hold On." If you listen to um, Jay Dilla, let's see, uh, on that on the Donuts album you know that he released before he died um people my people that's this right here my people hold on that's the sample you know what i'm saying i sampled uh date with the rain because you know they call they call you know when people smoke sherm they call it getting wet right so i did my musical interpretation of what getting wet is and that's your date with the rain you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so going up in smoke you know what I mean that's this is you know this is real music it's not it's not just what's it's not what just came out yesterday it's everything and you tell know, us who you are um my name is Scotty Rock I'm a rapper producer crazy man and uh, a music enthusiast and a music freak I love records, I love cassettes, I love CDs, I love everything from 3-6 Mafia all the way to The Temptations to Al Green. My father once said, I made Barry go white, I made Al go green, and I made Marvin go gay. You know what I'm saying? It's the white knight with the brown sound. You know what I'm saying? Burning your ear pound for pound. You know what I'm saying? And, right. you know, I that. I, you know I, I, if it, this is the way I put it to you. Without Gene... I wouldn't have the record collection I have today. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't bother. You know what I'm saying? Some of the beats that I've made, I wouldn't have made had this man not had this store. You know what I'm saying? And, you you know, people just need to learn to appreciate stuff like this because just because you have it on your iPod doesn't mean that you have it. That when, you can, when you can hold your music, that's when you own something. You own a piece of history. Free at last, Little Willie John. You know what I'm saying? Samples, let's see. Uh... This has been sampled, uh, the Ohio Players, like, the Ohio Players, six dollars for an Ohio Players album. Please. Please. Teddy Pendergrass, I bought the Teddy Pendergrass record here for, uh, it had, a uh, Love TKO on it. Yeah. It had, uh, <laughs> what else did it have on it? They had, um, that, what, what was that one? The, the, uh, the, uh, is it still good to ya? You know, come on, you know. How about for, some Mandrill? You like Mandrill? For, for, I listened to Mandrill the other day, and uh, and it was bought from here. My friend handed it to me, and he said, this is a hawk. Because <laughs> we love hawks in, in my group of people. We love hawks. <laughs> and that's just and because you've shopped here so long, you've caught on exactly, to what really. Exactly. really. You wow. know what I'm saying? Like wow, his it's taste. A term. It's a his, new term. Yeah, it's a term. It's a hawk. That's what we say. It's a hawk. You got a hawk. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I always used to look at those all the time and think, God, why did this guy write his name yeah. in ballpoint pen on all? Yeah, and, 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 and like, you know, I bought a, I bought a war record. You know how I found out about hawk? Is I came here and I found a war record and it was, uh, it was um, All Day Music by War on mm. Vinyl. Mm. It was $2, right? Mm. And, you know, it was... It was two dollars. It was like falling apart, kind of. But on the back, 
my favorite song I was growing up and there was a song in it it's uh the song is uh slipping into darkness and that song was my father used to play that you know what I'm saying and cry so it's like you know that's that's the song that I have burned into my brain then in quotations and an arrow pointing at slipping into darkness it said B A dash A dash A dash A dash D bad song <laughs> so it's like this guy Hawk knows what I'm talking about and I know what Hawk's talking about and he never even met this guy and I've never met the guy I never met the guy but he touched me he touched me through here I've never met him but I talked to him right here you know what I'm saying and you know, but then it's it's not it's not just this. It's not just Michael Jackson, the Isley Brothers, you know, the Blackbirds, Blue Magic, you know what I'm saying? Patty Austin, the Brothers Johnson, you know, and then uh, over here we have, you know, there's house music, uh, there's a lot of old disco stuff. You know, a lot of people don't realize, you know, as much as people try to say that there's not a scene for music in Greenville, there's there there are DJs out here. A a big a big wig at uh at what was it? Not Pioneer. What was the record company that he recently passed? That the they brought all their stuff. That cassette that I. MCA. The, no. Uh. It wasn't Columbia. Was it Pioneer? Or it was something like a uh, Columbia. You know there was, but there was a there was a guy that was you know really high up there, that uh that he passed out here, and they brought their stuff here to Horizon. I'm, like I said, I'm not going to say no names. If they didn't bring it anywhere else, they didn't take it over there. They didn't take it down the block. They brought it here. I have... I have oh, Capital. Capital, capital. Records. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? A Capital Records bigwig passed here in Greenville. Mm -hmm. There are DJs in Greenville, such as Hawk, such as, uh... Such as, uh... I can't remember his name right now. There's, you know, there's another DJ. There was a dude I met. I was doing a job moving a piano into a house. It was a Hispanic guy. This guy had a wall of vinyl and he was a DJ out in New York and his homeboy used to date Madonna but he lives here in Greenville so it's here you just gotta dig it up you know what I'm saying treasure treasure treasure's not in your back pocket you gotta dig for treasure you gotta find it you gotta look for it and you know look right here for those for those yummy golden oldies 50s 60s vocalist vintage vinyl just for you you know what I'm saying and then also you know if you make beats you make beats, you know, uh, great British speeches, uh, let's see, uh, we have, uh, like, there's a, there's a Malcolm X speech here in this collection, if you can't make a beat out of that, if you can't make something out of that, then you shouldn't be making music, you know what I'm saying, that's, that, it's, it's done for you, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, to have a man of that stature say something. Uh, War and Peace, the soundtrack. Come on, let's see. Um, let's see. This right here from the motion picture soundtrack, The Shoes of the Fisherman. You know what I'm saying? This is this is where rappers or this is where producers like the Alchemist and and, and all that. This is where they get their beats is from old soundtracks. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's something else that I bought from here? Uh, like um, like kid stuff, all this you can you know you can sample all this around the world in 80 days. You can sample that speech, Disney children favorites. You can sample that. Everything's here. You just gotta find it. And then the the cassette selection, the cassette collection. I bought I bought Big Pun's Capital Punishment here for two dollars. <laughs> Slap me. Slap me, please. You know what I'm saying? I know I know it's upsetting. I bought Ghostface Killer's Iron Man on cassette here for two dollars. That's hip hop. That's rap itself. You know what I'm saying? That's history. That you know, Ghostface Killer is my man. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then uh, what, then I got a uh, who was that? There was that comedian that he was uh, out in Hollywood. He had a gun out in the middle of the street, uh, and he was saying that he was King Kong. What's his name? Uh, Martin Lawrence. Now, I found a Martin Lawrence cassette here performance two dollars you know what I'm saying all these cassettes are two dollars and you can't you can't beat that I know some of y'all still have your cassette player in your car I know y'all are using your cassette adapter for your iPod for your phone and all that come get the album you know uh, in excess I know y'all are out there I know y'all need that I know y'all want that the in excess 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, I, I, I love you. I love you, white women. I see you. Mountain, best of Mountain. Best. Mountain, Long Red by Mountain, the 1971 uh, Live at the Fillmore. Those drums right in the beginning. There are countless people that have used that. From Q-Tip to Jay Dilla. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if you know Mountain, you know what I'm saying? A cassette for $2, the best of Mountain. Motley Crue. There's still for Eddie Murphy. Look, I bet you didn't know Eddie Murphy sang. Eddie Murphy sang. He did. He did. He was friends with Rick James. Rick James had some influence, you know. Um, Keith Murray, the most beautiful thing. That was his premier album. So then he did the most beautifulest hits. Then after that he did It's a Beautiful Thing. You know what I'm saying? Keith Murray, you know, if you know Redman, you know Keith Murray. And you know that they came up together, you know, with Eric Sermon. You know, Eric Sermon found them too. It's like, they, they, they're like the Wonder Twins together. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you feel like sweating. Sometimes you, you know what I'm saying? L.O. Cool J's Phenomenon. You know what I'm saying? You just want to take your shirt off and light a candle, put your do-rag on. You know what I'm saying? Bite an apple. You know what I'm saying? Just, yeah, I, I smell you. It's out there. You know what I'm saying? Kenny Rogers. What else do we have? Elvis? The Elvis little look, look. Look, still, still in the seal. These, you, listen. Listen. Still in the seal. For two dollars. For two dollars. He's king. Come on, you know what I'm saying? The king. Me and Elvis have something in common. You know what that is? We take other people's music and make it our own. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Simon and Gum Garfunkel. Bridge over troubled water. Come on. Your mom listened to it. She, you, you grew up on it. You know who this is. I think my grandma you, likes that one. You know what I'm saying? You need this. Two dollars. Two dollars. There you go. Cause you know what the thing is? You know when you buy in your cars. You're not gonna get the new one. You gotta get the one that's right for your wallet. So when you get the one that's right for your wallet, it's got a cassette player in it. So instead of having to bother with the cassette adapter, come and get a cassette. <laughs> Pretty Woman original soundtrack. Still, still in the in the case. I love Pretty Woman. I love. Who doesn't love Pretty Woman? Fleetwood Mac. Tango in the night. Ta no, okay, matter of fact, look at this. Tales from the Underground. And this has Deadly Verses by Gangster Pat on this cassette. If you know Gangster Pat, you know that he is the only one. You know he was the one that tried to diss Three Six Mafia. You know, uh, Three Six Mafia did tear the club up. So, pro so Gangster Pat said, tear your club down and diss Three Six Mafia. And uh, hit Gangster Pat's dad was the drummer for the Ohio Players. And his and and uh, and they performed at uh, when uh, when the Watts riots happened, the Watts Stacks performance, the Watts Stacks concert. They were there. They performed. This dad's man performed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so you know, there's so you, you're gonna find history in this place. Just right. imagine a museum where you're actually allowed to touch history, and that's All what right. we're asking. All right. Thank yeah. you. <laughs>